I'm going to show you some new features in the map viewer for MinDat. Uh, these are all based around the uh, layers system. Now previously, when you clicked on the layers icon here, you had the option to select a base map and you had the option for a single overlay map, which was the Macrostrat Geology. Now the first thing I've done is I've moved some of the existing maps that were base layers into these optional overlays, which means that you can choose a map such as the open street map view and you can choose secondary maps overlaid on top of them. Now I will show you what I mean. Let's zoom in and have a look at the UK and then if we select the map um, you'll see first thing you'll see is we've now got some different maps showing up. That's because now this is context sensitive. It will show different map tile sets based on your zoom level and based on where you're looking at. So we have the Ordnance Survey UK map here which doesn't make sense if you're looking at Brazil but certainly does make sense if you're looking at the UK. So I can turn that on and I can then zoom in on this Ordnance Survey map and look at particular features. Now we also have an opacity level here so I can turn down the opacity so I can fade in between the the base map which in this case is the um, open street map so we can compare open street map with ordnance survey and as you can see it shows up various differences which can be important um, more importantly we can turn off that particular layer and we can try for example a satellite layer so we can put a satellite view on top and again we can fade between the two there's a mine there some sort of quarry that we need to look at in fact what is that quarry wouldn't it be nice to know if we had that one in the MINDAT database already well now we can we can now add in another layer of MINDAT localities so I click that and I zoom around and we see where our MINDAT localities are. Now we don't have that one listed. Don't know what it's called, don't know what type of, of quarry it is, whether it's a stone or, or whatever. Well we could have a look for example by putting the geology map on top. Again let's put the opacity down, let's click on what what is the rock type. So it's Triassic sandstones and conglomerates. So who knows what it could be probably some sort of aggregate quarry but now let's turn off the macrostat geology um, let's um, check it could be one of these localities here no nope, these all seem to be just towns that are in them in that database they don't seem to be um, actual localities whereas this one here is a mine that one's a bridge and that one's a wood so whatever this one is this particular quarry near sea scale we don't have it um, so next thing we could do is we could look, at, look at the geonames database let's pull geonames up now this gives us a database of place names within the geoname system there's a railway station hotel but sadly that particular quarry is still unnamed maybe it's in the fossil database. Let's call up PBDB database. This is a local database of fossil occurrences. Now doesn't seem to be any in the area at all, which is a bit odd considering it's a sans uh, it's Triassic sandstones. But we move over here we can see that there's some further over there. If we zoom out we can see a bunch of them all over. Now as you can see, as we are scrolling around the map, it automatically loads in the different uh, points of interest. So we can turn off geonames, um, we can just have the fossil localities um, and the MINDAT localities appearing. Um, let's turn off the satellite as well, we don't need that now. And what I want to show you, let's zoom in again. 
we have another layer which is actually hill shading done for for by hike bike for for hike bikers and you can see now by adding this in we get the contour we're well not the contours you get the shaded relief map overlaid on top of whatever base map we've got there so this is a nice way and you can make it you can change the opacity level there a nice way of, of getting some sort of context onto this otherwise flat map so I quite like that And of course you can add on multiple levels so we can add on the macrostat geology on top of the hill shading on top of the um, open street map so now we've got a combination of relief geology and the um, original base map so there's another quarry there's um, a pointer that probably is misplaced that mail quarry there should be there this is a very useful tool that we will be using to help find issues like this and fix things put the coordinates in the right place add in missing quarries and mines to the database um, so as I said we've got various default maps we've got a multiple selection box here for different types of overlays uh, I'm going to turn all these off now and I'm going to go back to the base map um, as I said We've got different base maps that will appear, sorry, different overlay maps that will appear depending on where you are. So, for example, if we go to Austria, um, we now have the base map AT available, and this is a map, a detailed map of Austria. So, we can go in, we can look at this particular map. Now, this map may well have place names or details available to it in it that simply aren't on the underlying map. Now obviously once you have maps with text on them, overlaying them, it does sometimes get a bit messy, but um, if you think about, for example, taking a, a satellite view as your base map and then overlaying something like this, it can work pretty well. We've also got, uh, if we zoom out a little bit there, go a little bit east um, Slovakian map as well so again detailed map of Slovakia that is only available when you've got Slovakia within your view so the plan is that we will be adding more of these map types in over time um, either through tile sources or of hopefully eventually be able to have the ability for us to add our own maps so you'll be able to scan in a map of an area um, then match the coordinates with the coordinate system that we use here for the maps and then be able to have that overlaid with translucency on top of of the maps here and then of course be able to tie in your um, different types of localities as well so that's basically it. I hope you've enjoyed this. This should be going live today, so have fun playing with it.